Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to do a flip through of my current planner setup for the fall. I had a lot of requests for this so I wanted to show everybody what I'm currently using and the supplies that I have inside of my current planner. The first thing is the actual traveler's notebook itself. This is from the Foxy Fix. I will link that site below as well as any other companies that I mention and if I have a coupon code for that company I will include that as well in case there's something that you see that you really like that you would like to purchase yourself. I will do my best Best to provide the information below. This is a number two, which is a pocket, and it's in the wide with the reinforced spine. I really love this style. This is my favorite style traveler's notebook. I also have the blind heart embossing here on the spine, and I have my name blind embossed in the lower right hand corner. This has white stitching with the brown elastic and this is probably my favorite traveler's notebook that I currently own. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The leather is Rowena and it's one of the original Rowena colors or pieces of leather and it just is it's just gorgeous. It feels great. It's so smooth. It smells great and it marks up really, really well. I love all the character that it's getting. I really enjoy that on a traveler's notebook. So let's get into this. I will show you everything that's inside. Here is a quick peek at the top. I know this may be a little over the top and a lot for some of you, but for me, it's actually really functional. Each one of these clips marks a specific location in my traveler's notebook. So I will go over that as we go through everything that's inside. This bow here that I have on the spine is just gorgeous and perfect for the fall. I will link that shop below. And the paper clip that I have on the outside is from Lovely Little Planners. I love this paper clip. The quality of it is just so nice and I love all the glitter on it. It's super cute. I had this patterned paper here that I printed from a shop on Etsy. I'll link that below with some Coco Daisy washi tape that came in one of their recent planner kits. We're gonna open this up and we'll start in the inside cover. I zoomed in a little bit so we can get a better look. Uh, one of my favorite parts of Foxy Fix Traveler's Notebooks is this section right here. I love the pocket design in this. Now, when I originally purchased this, there was not an option to change pockets. Currently, there is. You do not have to pick this setup, but I always get the secretarial pocket and this short pocket here. It's my favorite part of decorating a planner is this inner pocket, so I always choose this design. And I've just recently ordered a few more new ones, and I've also got this design pocket coming as well. Okay, we're gonna start here. I just have this really cute Ollie clip that has this really awesome um, fall pattern on it. I purchased that at the container store. I have a thankful clip that's from Picks and Stones. I love this clip. It is definitely one of my favorites. Love the color of it as well. And I think it works perfect in this pocket right here. And then I have two die cuts. The first one I have is from Ohana Story and it's so cute. I love the color of the trees. And the next one I have is from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. And this is adorable. I love it. What I do with these digital die cuts is I print them out on my silhouette because I like to have the border cut very even. And then I laminate them on my Scotch laminator. Very inexpensive. I think I only paid about $25 for uh, the laminator from Hobby Lobby. So this is the question, guys to laminate or not to laminate. <laughs> I'm always confused about that. I love to laminate my die cuts because they last longer and it really gives them like staying power. But at the same time, I love how clean and vibrant they look when you don't laminate them. So I would love to know what you guys do with your die cuts. Definitely leave it in the comments below. I'm kind of, let's say 50-50. I laminate half of them and half of them I don't, just depending on my mood for the day. I also have this a glitter card that's in the back here. I just thought it was really pretty. 
Okay, on this side of the planner, I have my dashboard. This dashboard is from Foxy Fix. Sorry for the glare, guys. And I love it. It's really convenient and easy to make a dashboard with these inserts. And I got a couple of things going on here. The first thing that says falling leaves, that was an acetate piece that was from one of the most current planner press boxes. I loved it. I thought it was perfect for the fall. And then what I did is I layered it on top of a piece of pattern paper that I printed myself from Etsy. And the two of them together I thought looked really, really pretty. And then I have this cute die cut from Create with Pen. It is a Tinta. She's really, really cute. I love her scarf. She's just perfect for the fall. We're going to flip to the next section and the back of this dashboard, I have this really cute dashboard that I purchased on Etsy. I love the artwork on this. It's really, really pretty in the colors. I don't remember the name of the shop. I will link it below. And then here we have um, a piece of vellum from the planner press. I love this piece of vellum. It says living on pumpkin spice in a crisp breeze. And I'm pretty much doing that this fall, so it's perfect. It's just really pretty colors. And then we're on to my first insert. My first insert is a monthly insert from So Much Crafting. And I just have a piece of vellum that I printed myself. This was a digital file from Grumpy Bear stickers. Oh, it's so cute with the mugs. I absolutely adore it. It's one of my favorites. And I just have it covering my monthly insert. I have two clips here. First one here is from Emily Speaks. I love this clip. I love using it every fall. I look forward to it. It's hard to see, but it has a beautiful shimmer on it. It's got like really pretty shimmer and it's the perfect fall colors. I love this clip. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection. The next one I don't remember where it's from. It's a felt paper clip and it says gobble. I will link that below. And we're just going to open it up and I'm just going to the May section because that's the center of the booklet where the band holds and there I have this really cute sticker book. This is from Ohana Story and I just recently received it and it's adorable. It's her mini sampler and it has a lot of cute stickers in it and I cannot wait to use these ones here coming up. I really like these ones as well. There's so many cute ones in here. Love the Etsy ones. And basically to make it convenient, I just put it on the center band here so it's easy for me to reach. And we're gonna go, this is to October. Now for October, uh, just a picture of me and my husband in our goofy Halloween costumes. Really love how that came out. And then we have my current month, which is November, which I'm absolutely loving. I used a sticker kit from Creating & Co. And I have this really, really adorable um, Grumpy Bear die. This one is not laminated. Just really love it. It's stuck under my plan clip. And then on the top right, I have this peach palm. This is one of my favorite peach palms. I love this color. It's like a spicy pumpkin color. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I like to use that to mark November. So this way when I'm looking for November, I can flip to it very quickly. Now the back of my monthly insert just has some pictures of my cats. Now on this one here, um, usually I know a lot of you like to use the pockets from Target Dollar Spot, but they're a little bit too wide for a pocket. So what I do is I use these simple story project life three by four uh, picture or card holders. And then I just print out my pictures on my LG printer and they slide in really quick and simple. I really like that. Here is the back side of the vellum that I printed from Grumpy Bear. It's just really cute. And some more of the die cuts. This die cut down here is um, newer and it's one of my favorites. It's so cute with the coffee mugs. It's a warm, cozy, and chug. Absolutely adore it. I just thought it looked really pretty on this planner press vellum. Together they look really cute. Okay, next up we have my Pookie section. For those of you that have followed me for a long time, you know I lost my cat last year around this time and I miss her a bunch. So I like to keep a section in my planner with her. This is another Foxy Dash and I just put some pattern paper again from that 
uh, paper pack that I uh, purchased off of Etsy. This little die cut here is so cute. It's an angel. And this was a freebie that was given out on the Create With Pen Facebook page a long time ago. But I just thought it was appropriate that Pookie have an angel. And then I have some Grumpy Bear sticker uh, post-it notes, which I love that say grumpy things. And one thing I can tell you guys is this cat was super grumpy. So it's so perfect. Um, in this section, I also have this pull-out dashboard that I created. I love this dashboard. It's end up being like one of my favorite pieces. I layered two pieces of vellum and I printed this free printable on top of it. Now this free printable was given to me by a friend. I don't know the origins of it and neither did she. She didn't remember. So unfortunately, I cannot link that but I just thought it was so perfect for a dashboard for your Pookie section. And then I have this cute little die cut on the top that's from The Joy of Planning. How adorable is that little kitty? She has these Tormy or like little ghost uh, figures. These are year round, they're not just for Halloween. Uh, I just love it. I just It makes me think of my cats. It's adorable. And then I have a pen clip on the top and I have the latest Dolce Vita collection pen gems in here. And this is the one with the black marble barrel. Guys, this pen is gorgeous. It's so like sophisticated and classy looking. I just totally love it. There was also a gray and a pink in the collection. I don't know if they're still available, but I would definitely suggest grabbing them if you can. They are beautiful. They're like one of my favorites. And I just have it all clipped together so I can slide this in and easily uh, get to my pookie section. And the nice part about it is if you use this clip here, these pen clips, if you feel like it's going to fall out of your planner and you don't like anything loose, you can just clip this in if you like. I just leave mine loose. It stays in there and I don't have a problem with it. Then I have some more uh, planner press vellum here. Now this one wasn't in the latest uh, subscription box. This was actually just on her website. So definitely uh, don't forget to check her website too or her Etsy shop. Um, it, it's really pretty and it wasn't in the box, but as you can see, it matches really pretty with some of the items that were in the box. So I love to go to her Etsy shop and just pick up these individual, uh, vellum printouts as well. They're really, really pretty. The colors on this one are just like amazing. I have another Grumpy Bear die cut that I love. And this card here is from planner press. It says, I love fall most of all. It's just so pretty. It has gold foil. I love it. Okay, so my next insert is my November weekly. This here is from um, Annie's Printables, and it is the only insert that I can use in a pocket traveler's notebook. I have tried other ones. It has nothing um, been, but you know, just serious failure with that. So we're sticking with these. We're not changing. <laughs> now I do have a little paper clip on this because I do not use the monthly and I do not use the habit tracker. The monthly I use my so much crafting monthly insert so I don't have to use that and the tracker I'm seriously broken up with right now. I mean me and this tracker get together and break up so many times. It's ridiculous. It's a crazy relationship. So for right now, we're broken up and I have it hidden so I don't have to look at it. <laughs> and it makes it easy. The section I do love that's in the Annie Plans printables is this right here, which is like a summary sheet for the month. I like either just journaling in here about all the important things that happen for the month or to do something like this where I have a picture of me and my husband and just like a really scrapbook kind of style um, setup. I adore this part of my planner. It's probably my favorite part. This Autumn Days sticker was from Planner Press Box. It had a lantern on the side, but it was a little too big, so I just trimmed it down. I have another Joy of Planning Tormy here, playing in the leaves. Some of the Planner Press Leaf stickers here. I have another Ohana Story sticker here, and uh, creating in co which was part of the monthly kit which is this pretty flower pattern I just love the way this came out really really fun 
it makes me happy every time I flip to this section. This was my Halloween week and I do use the inserts that have the flap. These are printables so you do have to print and cut them yourself but there's a lot of tutorials available out on these and I just love them. I can't you know I can't plan without them so that was Halloween week and this is my current week I don't have anything written down um, if you follow me on Instagram you know I hurt my knee I tore some ligaments in my knee and I'm gonna need surgery so I've kind of been off my game a little bit so just bear with me guys I'll catch up like I always do and this is the rest of the week and up here I have another paper clip. This one is from Very Sweet Plans. I love this paper clip. It is gorgeous. I love the fall design. I love this beautiful crystal on it. And for me, it's helpful because it marks where my current week is. So if I have to flip to the current week, I can get to it very quickly and easy. Love that. Okay, I have a little post-it notepad from Coco Daisy, one of their recent kits the back end of the planner press vellum. And then on this side here, I have my list book. Now this is a generic list book. I think it's just from so much crafting, but I layered it with some vellum that I printed myself. This was a digital file that you could purchase from Create With Pen. I love it with the bows, it's so cute. And I have a Create With Pen die that I did laminate. And I love this because I have it kind of hanging off in the corner. So when the planner's closed, I can flip to my list really quickly and then I have this clip here as well from Peony's Papery. This is one of my favorite clips. It is the one that has all the little sequins on it. Look at how beautiful that is guys. Oh my god I don't even have great lighting in here and it's like shiny and beautiful. Just love it. So I like to keep that clipped here because that also helps me to flip to my list section when I want to get there. And I don't have anything too crazy in here. I have my wines list that are wines that I'd like to purchase for Thanksgiving for my guests. I have some uh, favorites in here and I have some new ones I want to try. But look at how cute this die cut is. This one is from Joy of Planning. It's the little girl holding the wine glass. I love it. It's adorable. And basically I just laminated it and I um, stuck it in here for a tab. As you can see, it sticks out a little bit. And I love that because you can just use adhesive remover if you want to remove it and move the position of it. Just some cutting settings for my silhouette. I have some fall goals with this really cute little fox head. As you can see, I need to clean my craft room, but now that I've hurt my leg, it's kind of thrown me off my game a little bit so just bear with me guys <laughs> I always come back <laughs> and then I have this acetate that's from planner press I just thought it was really pretty so I just stuck it in the center of my insert here and this card here that I think is absolutely beautiful it's so pretty I love the gold foil on it I have some washi tape across the top from wonton in a million it was her fall washi it's super cute I'm hoping to use some more of it before the month is out here is the back of that vellum sheet from Create With Pen. And then I have my passwords inserts. This one's also from Annie Plans. Obviously, I'm not going to show you these, but I will tell you that I did come up with a method for this. I've always hesitated on having a password booklet in my planner because in case your planner gets lost you're worried about what if somebody gets my passwords. I shared this on my Instagram but basically what I came up with is a coding system. So for instance if I put my amazon.com password in there I don't write that it's Amazon. I use a code like a heart. So I know a heart is Amazon and I put my password and my name in there. So if this book gets lost I know that that person most likely will, will not figure out that that's my Amazon password. They'll see a heart, they'll see the name and the password, but they won't know what website to go to to log into it. So I feel like it's a little bit more secure. I've also taken a picture of the pages, so if it does go missing, I know which accounts um, I need to change right away. And on this, I have another Very Sweet Plans bow or ribbon. 
really pretty design. I like to keep that here. It helps me to flip to my passwords quickly so I know where my passwords are. And the vellum, again, is from Planner Press. Not from the subscription box, but from her website or her Etsy shop. Then the next one is from Planner Press, which is this really pretty acetate. And then I have this adorable die cut from Unicorn Planner. It's so cute. It's a little chubby cat holding a pumpkin spice latte. I just had to have it. It's adorable. I like to keep it here under this clip. Now this clip here, I'm not sure where this is from. I forget. It's a felt clip, but I love it. It's just a beautiful fall leaf and it is um, marking my Thanksgiving insert. Now this insert is from Annie Plans, but it's last year. So I'm referencing it for right now and I will be adding in this year's version shortly. So I just wanted to make sure that I copied over what I needed for this year. Then my next section is a folder pocket that I made. Um, nothing too fancy, just something that I put together quickly. The clip that I have on the outside is from Picks and Stones. I love this clip. It is the cutest scarecrow clip ever, and I love the glitter on the hat. It's adorable. And I just used some papers from a past Coco Daisy planner kit. And right now I have this clip shut. This does not need to be clipped shut, but it just depends. I go back and forth. And here is my folder pocket. I have a lot of stuff in there, a lot of die cuts. Um, this one here is definitely my favorite from Grumpy Bear. Oh, it's so cute. And this is just a little larger version and it's laminated. And I figured I can use it for a bookmark as well. I kind of just tuck it in whatever page I want to mark. So I have that in here and I have a create with pen die. I have this really cute one from uh, Pumpkin Paper Co. It's adorable. I'm starting to really obsess about this company and these stickers and I'm going to need to order a whole bunch. So I have my cart full currently and I'm just waiting to check out on that. So I have a lot of random things in here. I'll just kind of scroll through so you guys can see everything I have tucked in my pockets. I really love this folder. It gives me a spot to stick stickers, papers, receipts, any little items that I get that I want to keep. And again, I just kind of clip it together like that. Um, doesn't have to be clipped together. The stuff doesn't fall out, but I just like it there. It helps me flip to it quicker. I have some Ohana Story note post-its behind there. And then my very last insert is my Nicole Hutch label variety book. I really like having this in here. I have three clips that mark this book. These are kind of random. This one here, I don't remember where I got it from, but this one here is from Twister Plans and the back one is from Planner Press. I just really loved the way the three of them look together. And I have it on my back insert. I have this die cut here that I printed out myself that I thought was really cute and another planner press acetate cover and just to flip through to show you I have this here that's from Hobby Lobby which is just my gem initial in a planner press vellum covered pocket just some random labels that I like to use I also have some stickers in here that I've created myself that I use and then I have my Create With Pen Volume 1 Favorite Sticker Book, which I really love as well and is really fun. And I just use the center band to hold it in. Really love that little pocket that I made. I don't currently have anything here. I might put a picture of Maxwell in here since I didn't have him in my book. And then in the back here, I'm trying something new. I don't know if you noticed that, but I have that little pen clip there and I'm going to show you why I do that. The first thing I'm going to do is just lift out my pen gems and it's going to open up this flap and then I can access the back of the book. I can access this back pocket where I have some stickers. I have this cute sticky wicket Thanksgiving pilgrim pen. Uh, clip. I really love this. I think it's adorable. I have a laminated fox tab in case I need to use it. It's back there. I have a card to cut washi, some random stickers. But the reason why I'm doing this is because the pen clip on the Foxy Fix is so high up, the pen has a tendency to swing at the bottom. 
Now, when you purchase a Foxy Fix currently, you do not have to get the pen loop option. I like it. I like the pocket configuration. I don't want to mess with it, but it does kind of bug me that the pen dips. So if you can see when I close the planner, that pen dips on me and it always drives me crazy. So I came up with this idea that if I put this little pen clip here and I just slide my pen up, now it holds in place, it holds the cover down, it gives me a nice sturdy backing so when I'm writing in my planner, I have that nice sturdy back. And then when I close it, that pen is no longer dipping. It stays nicely in place. So it's just a little test thing that I've been doing and I absolutely love it. Now, just so that you know, this pen is the pumpkin pen that uh, was released for Halloween from Pen Gems. It is limited edition. You can no longer get it. I apologize for that, but it is beautiful and I love it in here for the fall. But now I feel like it's a little bit more secure. So I am really loving that. So let me close this back up. And as you can see, I have all my clips. I have my folder that I can access really quickly. I have my tab for my list books my wine list that I like to get to very quickly right here. I have my little fox ears that take me to my fall checklist. Um, I can access everything very quickly with all these tabs and clips up top. So I am really, really happy with the way this came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a couple of new planners coming in from Foxy Fix. Hopefully they will arrive soon. I will show you the unboxing of those. I also have two fun holiday planners that I have scheduled. I'm going to be doing two TNs for Christmas. And the reason why is because I'm going to have one that's going to be a more travel one and one that's going to be more of what stays on my desk. I no details on that yet because it's just kind of in the planning stages, but definitely subscribe and stay tuned so you don't miss the flips on those. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just leave them below. And thanks for watching.